How's it going everyone? I'm Kellen Reck and I do videography and photography in Boston, Massachusetts. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how to build a website using webador.com. You can do this effectively and easily through Webador and you can do it in just a matter of minutes. You don't need prior coding experience, prior experience building out websites or anything wild like that. You can just jump on and start building it right away. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. For the example site today, we're gonna to do it through the lens of a photographer, a freelance photographer in the Boston area. And the website we make is gonna have a web shop function where you could sell various products. So we'll go over all of that right now. So let's jump to the computer, we'll go to Webador and we'll start walking through building out this website. So if you head to the Webador homepage, this is what you're gonna see. And getting started is as easy as clicking getting started. And we'll just type in the name of our website. I'll say Kellen's photo site, type in my email and password and get started. And here I can go in and choose a template to get started with. So let's see what we've got here that we like the look of. Seems like there's already a template here called photography. So we're gonna go with this and start building it out. Now, when you go to choose your plan, we're gonna go with the pro plan. The reason we want this is that we get a domain name with it so that we can type exactly what we want in the URL to take us to our website. We're also gonna get a web shop where we can host up to 10 products and start selling right away. So we'll go with the pro plan here. So now that our pro plan is activated, our website is ready to get started on. So you could either choose your domain name now, which I'll walk you through very quickly. You would just type in the domain name you want, photography website, and you'll see if it's available. If it is, you can go ahead and register. If it's not, you can choose a different one. And you can also choose a domain name at a different time. So we're gonna click choose domain name later for now, and we'll jump back a bit later on. Great, so now we can go in and we can start using the editor to really build out what our website's gonna look like. So if I jump in, here's our template. This is what we start with. Now, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna change out this banner image in the background, really start to make this look like my website. This is just a stock photo, so if I click on edit, I can go to new image and you can see I have a lot of stock images to choose from, but I can also upload my own photo. So I'm going to use something, an image that I took back in the day and add it so that it's my own photography on the website. Now I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, so I'm going to use a photo that I took of the city and really give it some flair. When you go to the website, you see the image and you say, wow, that looks awesome. Let's get it started. Great, so once the banner's uploaded, I can scale where exactly it is. I can make the banner just a little bit bigger so we see exactly what we want in this photo. And then I'm just gonna hit save. Now the next thing I do is I don't really want this to be called photography website on the website. That was just my naming convention so I know what my website was here. So I am actually gonna click on this at the top and what you can do is you can change it from a text to a logo. So I'm gonna go with actually logo and text. Now if I double tap on this, I can go in and upload my own logo, which I do have already built. So I'm just gonna go in and add my KREC logo. And I'm gonna change this website name to Kellen Rec Photography. Great, so that's all built out. And we can get into some coloring and changes of that a little bit later on, but that's ready to go. Now we can start to add some additional elements to the website. So the first thing that I wanna do is add some text. I wanna talk about who I am, a little bio of myself. So all I have to go is to this left panel here and drag the text onto the website. Now I already have a bio, so I'm just gonna copy and paste that in. And that's looking great right there. Now, next to this, I think it would be nice to show a photo of myself, show what I look like so people who come to this website can see, oh, that's Kellen, that's what he looks like. This is the guy that we're gonna be dealing with. This is the person who's taking the photos. So in order to do that, I can grab an image and drag this where I want. It could be above, it could be to the side, it could be below. I'm gonna put it just to the side here, and I'm going to add a photo of myself. And we've got that. So it's already starting to look really nice. We've got our text, we've got this. I almost want there to be a little bit of a title between my banner and myself, so I'm gonna drag a banner or a title in here, add it above um, about me. And that's what I'll add. Great, so now we have an about me page, we've got our banner, things are starting to come together and really make this website look nice. Next, I wanna show some examples of my photography. So if we look over here, there's a bunch of options of what we can add. We can add a product gallery where we'll get into different products that we can sell. We could add video, we could add audio, a whole bunch of different things. I will add a photo album beneath so that people can see what it is I'm doing, what it is I'm working on. And if we go to manage photos, we can add a whole bunch of different images that I've taken. So I'm gonna find some images and I'm just gonna add a bunch of different photos that I've taken over the years so that I can start to build out a gallery. So anyone coming to the website can say, there's Kellen, 
that's a little info about him. And hey, there's some of the photos he take, he's taken. That's giving me some credibility, it's making the website look nice, and it's giving some visuals to look at. So really easy to go in here and add these different elements. So as these upload, I'm gonna give them just a moment of time. I'm gonna call this album Kellen's Photography. So I'm gonna save this, and I'm just adding a few photos here for example, but you can see how they look. Looks great underneath here. And a few other things we can add. We could even add some social icons on the left side. So at the bottom, I wanna have different connections to my Facebook, my Instagram, everything like that. So now that I'm starting to get my website looking the way I want with the information and links that I want and everything like that, I wanna go over to my design tab up at the top and I wanna change some of these colors. These colors don't really go with my brand. I like to use the red and white and more of a navy blue. This maroon was just from the template so we wanna change that. So that's really easy to do in the design tab. I can change my header and I'm gonna go with more of a darker blue color that fits my brand. I wanna change the accent color on this to be a white. I'm gonna change the footer to match the blue. And I'm slowly starting to get this to look the way that I want it to look. We can change our text formatting. We could change the actual type of font that we're using. If we wanted to make this look a certain way. So we're making fun changes here. Things are looking good and the website is coming together. So I'm gonna hit save. Remember that while you're doing any of this design, you can pop over and see the mobile view, make sure it looks okay. Looking good to me. Great, and we're just gonna make sure we're saved all the time. So that's how you go in. Remember, you're using the editor to build out the look. You're using the design to change your coloring, your fonts, everything like that. Then there's something called pages at the top here, and this is where we can add additional pages to the look of our website. So I wanna add a contact page so somebody could reach out and find me. So I'm gonna say, contact me. We'll go without banner. And if you go to page content, there's actually a contact build out so we can do all that. Should be nice and easy, we'll hit save. So if you go to your contact me page, you can add a bunch of different things. You can add a photo, change your address details. You could even bring over a Google Maps uh, interactive feature here. So drag over the map and you can have that here. Whoops, I've added a second one. And then you have your name, email address and messages. You could edit what this form looks like and it all looks great there. Add different forms so somebody can send you their name, their email, get on an email list, send you a message, reach out to you about business or anything like that. And then if they want, they can go back to the homepage here at the top, and obviously you have your contact page there. To go back and edit, you go to your pages. So we'll head back to the home page now. There is one great option that you can do with your banner image here. I wanna have a button there, something that's drawing people in. So if I click on edit, I can actually choose to add a title, a title with a subheading, or a title with a button. Now in my title, I'm just gonna write a little bit of a catchphrase that I use, telling your story through images. And I'm gonna change my button to direct people to the contact me page. So if I hit save, and I can actually click on the button and write contact me, and I'll just save that. And now we have a catchphrase over my image in the banner and a contact me button. Now if we test to make sure this works, if I click on contact me, it brings me right to the contact me page. So really, really nice setup there, a nice easy button layout. And of course, at any point you could go back and change any of this, where the button takes you, what the button says, what the phrase says, anything like that. Always customizable. So after this is all built out, we wanna add some products to the website. We're gonna use the web shop tool to do so. So within the web shop, you can see you've got a lot of information on your incoming orders, get all of the information on your customers and what exactly your products are. And then if you go into settings, you can see a lot more. You can see you can choose which currency you're using, you can fill out the order form that would be going to the people who are purchasing your products. There's also some payment methods you can use. So newly implemented Stripe is part of the payment methods for the web shop. Very easy for credit card purchases and things of that nature. You can have a whole bunch of different options for payment methods here by choosing these selections. You can use things like PayPal as well to submit orders and deal with that. And a bunch of other options here for emails, order confirmations, shipping confirmations, coupon settings, everything of the like. And that's all within the settings option here on your web shop. So really, really good details, a lot that you can use to customize the way your customers are coming in and purchasing products through your website. So let's build out some products. The first thing we wanna do is a KREC t-shirt. So we'll call it KREC t-shirt and I'm gonna upload an image. So we could have a shipping cost or no shipping cost. We're gonna price this at 1797. 
our inventory is going to be 10. You can just add various information about this and we'll add some variants. So we'll go with size and we will have, we will have large, medium, and small sizes. So that way people can choose which size they want. You can see it makes a nice drop down here. So we'll save that. Um, we'll actually do, let's say there's a discount price on the large right now. So we'll say that's $15.97. Great. And if we want to add another product, we could add photo prints. And we'll just copy that description for now. And we'll upload an image of one of my photos, a nice print of that photo. So you can get this photo printed and we will say that's at a price of $24.97. Unlimited, uh, we'll have this be at 25 for inventory. Great, so now we have a number of different products. We have photo prints and we have t-shirts. So once we have our products built, the next move we wanna do is add a web shop page. So if we go to the pages tab up here, you'll see that we can add a new page and one of these is going to be our web shop. And we will do it without a banner for, for this. Great, we're just gonna leave it like so. Save, we have our web shop. Now, below the web shop, we wanna have two different options because we wanna have sub pages off of this. So we wanna have our t-shirts and we also wanna have our prints. That way you can go from the web shop to choose your options. All you have to do to make these sub pages is drag them to the right underneath whichever category they're under. So t-shirts and prints are now sub pages of web shop. So if we head to our web shop page, we can start working on the edit. So what we wanna do here is we wanna add some images and add some buttons. So I'm gonna create a column and I will add two images to this column. We'll have one image that is of merch and one image that is of stock photos. And we're gonna make them circular in shape. So we just go to the settings and change it from square to circle. And then we'll add an image. And we're just gonna scale them up a little bit and then all we have to do is add a little bit of a button underneath them. So the first one will have a button that goes to t-shirts. And if we click on to change our link, we can select the page it goes to and that'll go to the t-shirt page. And the next one will have a button that goes to prints. And we will direct that to the prints page. Great, and now we have our web shop all built and ready to go. So if we head back to the pages tab, we can actually add our products to these pages. So it's a matter of going to t-shirts, dragging the product over from the web shop item over here, and we just choose our product. It's the product we set up before, KREC t-shirt here on our t-shirt page. You can see we have our different options to choose from. The large one's got that discount price being on sale. And we can go to our other page. We'll head over to the prints page and we can add a product here. And when we add our product to this page, you can see we have a lovely looking image here. You can make your purchase, you can add it to cart, you can do all of that. One final thing I like to do before concluding all of this is if you go to the mobile view, you can actually add a mobile bar to the bottom of your website. Now this is a nice, quick, easy tool. And you can see you can choose from accent, light, you can have a dark bar at the bottom, and it's gonna let you have easy access to you. So that's either your phone number, your email address, your location, find it on the map. You can choose various things, various social networks to add to the bottom. And it's quick, easy access for mobile users. And then once you're finished, all you have to do is go to the top and click publish. And you can actually choose again, this is where we were before, the domain name you want. So I'll just call it krecphotography.com. You can change your back end here. And you'd register that domain. And just like that, if we go to krecphotography.com, we have our website all built out. We've got the various photos in our gallery. We've got our shop. It's all ready to go and it looks great. So I hope this made things clear on how Webador works and how it can be so easy to build a website in 12 to 15 minutes. If you have any questions, please let us know over here at Webador and enjoy your time building your website.